Welcome to Mentoring with the Masters. My name is Jennifer Kurgendahl. I'm the Third Circuit Representative for the Young Lawyers Division Board of Governors. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to the current President-elect of the Florida Bar, Ray Abedin. Ray is going to be speaking to us about listening from when your client walks in through the door all throughout the trial phase. Ray, welcome. Hello. So glad to have you here. You. Ray is a very accomplished civil trial attorney. Uh, one of the aspects of your practice that you need to do is listening. Can you talk to us about that initial client interviews all the way through? Sure, and thank you for having me. I think it's one of the most important things we do as a lawyer is to listen. And there's an art to listening. It's clearing your mind, quieting your mind, and really focusing on the information that you're getting from your client. From the first phone call, the initial interview, and throughout the attorney-client relationship, it's important to listen to our clients because we tend to think quickly, we tend to think too analytically, and we tend to rush to judgment as human beings. And part of the professional process that we have to have as lawyers is really to listen. And I think it goes all the way back to, in law school, I wish they would say, the reason we lecture to you and the reason we want you to sit quietly and listen is because not only do we want you to get the information, but we want you to begin to train your mind. It's a, it's a, you have to really think about listening and remembering and processing and asking questions, but not asking questions too soon. Um, we have to remember that we're dealing with people that are um, m many unsophisticated um, and as smart as they might be or as uneducated as they might be, they're not lawyers and they're coming to us for legal advice. But before we can give the legal advice, we have to take in the information. And so uh, it's really been helpful to me in my practice, and I share as much as I can with young lawyers particularly, and other lawyers, listen, just be quiet, be mindful, take a deep breath, and listen, and let the story come out. Uh, and it doesn't always come out the first time. It may come out on the second conversation, or the third conversation, or there may be something that doesn't make sense to you, but it's not the right time. Sure. Do you see in a trial situation or, for instance, in taking a deposition that some people will just stick to the script and they might hear a term that they don't do that follow-up question because they weren't listening? All the time. In fact, uh, now as, a, as, a, as an experienced trial lawyer, um, on, on my trial desk, you won't see anything but a legal pad. Um, when I'm in an active trial setting in an active hearing, there's nothing in front of me but a legal pad. And so people comment on that because we typically tend to bring all this stuff and we feel we need all this stuff. And, and I've gotten away from that because my rule is I, I'm prepared. I should know all the stuff that's in the documents and I work very hard to do that. So trial, hearings, interviews are the time to relax and sit back and listen and watch. Watching too, we're collecting information. I frequently see, we, I, we just had a trial, which was comical because one of the lawyers on one of the other teams, they were reading an iPad and watching the testimony scroll by. <clears throat> and they weren't watching the jury literally laughing at his witness's responses and the judge broke protocol and was smiling and laughing. And these lawyers, I remember just looking over there and they were just sitting there reading the testimony from the iPad which was a completely different and very detached experience. And the lawyers weren't reacting to what was going on because they weren't listening, they weren't paying attention, they weren't looking at the big picture. And that's, I think, what lawyers, trial lawyers particularly, but lawyers bring to the table. We, we have to give advice, but we really have to make sure that we've listened and accumulated all the facts that we need, experiential facts, verbal facts, to make a decision. It's certainly a skill set that you are not trained on in law school or really any class that I can think of. Um, so certainly something that you would need to develop on your own throughout time or with mentorship um, to better your practice. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you being here today and hope you've been able to take away some good tips on listening here with President-elect of the Florida Bar, Ray Evadine. Thank you again for being here. Thank you very much for having me.